Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another Quran moment. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Today is day 15, a good time to monitor your Quran goals. Um, check where you've got to. Are you reaching your targets? If you're falling behind, try and increase your intensity and uh, try and catch up, inshallah, to at least read the Quran once. Let's recite today's ayah, ayah number 22 in Surah Al-Baqarah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرج به من الثمرات رزقا لكم فلا تجعلوا لله أندادا وأنتم تعلمون Let's first go through the meanings الذي the one Ja'ala, who made for you, lakum. What did he make? What? When you see the word ja'ala, it means to make something into something. So what did Allah SWT make something into something? The something that was made is the earth, and it was made into a firash, a resting place. Alladhi ja'ala lakum al-arda firasha. Was-sama'a bina'a. And the sky, a canopy. Wa-anzala min as ma'a. Wa-anzala, to send down. Min as from the sky. What did he send down? Ma'a, water. فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ And he took out with it, i.e. the water. مِنَ thamarat From the fruits. رِزْقًا لَكُمْ Why are these fruits here? رِزْقًا لَكُمْ As a provision for you. So what should we do in return? فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ أَنْدَادًا Do not set up andad rivals to Allah. وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And you know that this is wrong. Right, let's just go through a couple of words here. الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ فِرَاشِ This word firash is an interesting word. <coughs> it literally means, translated here as a resting place. But it's something that you spread out to rest on. So to give an example in Arabic, they say, كُنْتُ أَفْتَرِشُ الرَّمَلْ وَأَتَوَسَّدُ الْحَجَرِ I, if you imagine you're living in the desert, and you're in a house, and you need to, it's time to go to sleep, they would just pat down the sand to make their bed and they would use a stone as a pillow. I spread the sand as a bed. So the word that the uh, person uses, aftarish, from firash, to make it into a firash. So you can get this idea of how a firash is. It's something that's spread out. The purpose is not the spreading. The purpose is to make it comfortable for you to sit on or to stay on. Question number two that can come, if you say the earth is spread out, does it mean it is flat? So remember what we meant by flat, the spreading out means to make it comfortable. And if you think about it carefully, a sphere, something which is round, from the point of view of a person standing on the sphere, is actually spread out. It's flat in front of them. And if you make it flat all the way around, that's how you get a sphere. SubhanAllah. وَالسَّمَاءِ بِنَاءً And the sky is a bina. What is this word bina? Literally, this word means building or making a structure. So that's an interesting concept, that the sky actually, if we look at the sky, just your human eye and observation, you don't think that it has a structure. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, yes, it has a structure. And now, with meteorology, etc., etc., we can see that there is an amazing structure to the sky. It's not something that is chaotic. The other meaning of the word bina is canopy, as something that covers, and if you think, or a ceiling. Um, something that covers you is something that protects you from anything outside. And today we know that the uh, sky protects us from cosmological these rays from the sun, from meteorites of falling to the earth, which then burn up in the atmosphere. So subhanAllah, what an accurate description. وَالسَّمَاءِ بِنَاءَ وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ And what does Allah sent from the sky? مَاءً Now the interesting thing about here, the word ma is that it's indefinite. And so what this is pointing is giving an ishara to that not all the water comes from the rain. So, وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ The he here is referring back to the ma, the water. Okay. مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ رِزْقًا Again, just like the word ma'an, this word rizqan has also been indefinite to show that the fruits are not the only provision in the world. It's some. لَكُمْ For you. 
فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا So do not make Remember we met this word جَعَلَ To make something into something فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ أَنْدَادًا فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ Do not make for Allah أَنْدَاد What does this word أَنْدَاد mean? It's been translated as rivals It's the plural of the word نِد And نِد means a rival To understand the, what is a rival Think about the origin of the word نَدَّ الْبَعِير نَدَّ الْبَعِير A camel Imagine there's a herd of camels And one of them just decides not to be part of the herd and bolts off and goes sharad it becomes a stray stray so that is a nid that's where the word origin originally comes from so there is no person being other than Allah who is an equal and is an opposite to him who is far away from him this does not exist وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ What do you know? That you know this is incorrect. You know that there is nobody else who has come forward and claimed that he has created everything. You know that. Throughout the entire centuries of mankind and through your own observation, you know that it is impossible for any human being, for any being to be equivalent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why are you setting up rivals to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? One of the teaching tips here that Ulama point out is فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ أَنْدَاذًا Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being critical of those people who set up rivals to Him. So why do you worship others than other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why do you worship things that are other than God? So this is criticism. But at the same time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلُمُونَ Allah is now appealing to that person who is doing this thing. Appealing to their mind and giving them hope that yes you are wrong but you can change you realize you're wrong and you have the ability to change so when you tell people off when you correct people correct them censure them but at the same time don't stop there tell them that you can change give them hope because if you remove hope the human being will not will never change so always give people hope and this is what the quran is doing subhanallah and then finally some uh, benefits from the ayah number one it's telling us to that the worship that we should have is should be only directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the tawheed of worship and number two it's asking us to reflect upon this sky that Allah has put as a canopy the earth that Allah has spread out the falling of rain i.e. reflect over the creation of God because they point to God so this is the story of the Bedouin quoted in uh, Ibn Kathir about the man is asked how do you know that God exists and he says when I look at the dung or the droppings of a camel I know a camel has passed when I see a footprint in the sand I know that a human being has passed so when I look at this amazing sky the mountains and the huge seas this is a, a pointer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's very clear that this is a, a incredible evidence Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq to understand the Qur'an and to reflect over its meanings.